Hello everybody, this is Amel with another coding interview tutorial for you. So this time I'm going to show you how to solve the move zeros interview problem. And this is a problem that one, one famous company asked me one time. Um, it was a phone interview. So this is a good one to know. So given an array nums, write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So, for instance, they give you this array as input, so you have to move all the elements that are zero to the end. But at the same time, you have to keep the same order of the other elements. For, for instance, here, you, you see one is here, then three follows, then twelve follows. You, so, it has to be done in place, and you have to maintain the relative order. And some people sometimes can do it, but they don't know how to... Um, actually maintain the relative order which means that sometimes they have three first and then one and then twelve but no here they want you to have one then three then three then twelve so how can you do this so to solve this problem we're gonna we're gonna have a variable that um, it's gonna be a count and we're gonna maintain the invariant every iteration that all the elements to the left of count they're gonna be not equal to zero so Every, we're going to go through the array. Every time we see an element that is not equal to zero, we're going to put a position count and we're going to increment count. So by the end of the iteration, all the elements that are not equal to zero are going to be to the left of count. And count, for example, is going to stop at a position and we only have to go from this position forward to set all the elements equal to zero. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to make sure that the reference is not null, so if the reference is null or the array is empty, then I'm going to return. Then I'm going to have a variable count initialized to zero. So for integer i, because the value is zero, i is less than nums that length plus plus i. So every time I'm going to check if nums of i, if the current element is not equal to zero, then I want to put it where count is. So nums of count gets a value of nums of i. And then, because I want to maintain the invariant that all the elements to the left of count are not equal to zero, I increment count each time. So now, after the end of the, after the, end of the loop, all the elements not equal to zero will be to the left of count. So the only thing that I have to do now is to go from count all the way to the end of the array and set those elements equal to zero. So for integer count, for integer i, there's a value of count, i is less than nums that length plus plus i. So I'm going to say that nums sub i gets a value of zero. So this one should do it. So I go from count, starting at count all the way to the end and set that element to zero. So let me see. One, three, twelve, zero, zero. So this is fine. And then submit. Alright, perfect. So this is a solution in big O of end time. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Amel. Please uh, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I will happy coding. See you next time.